Hi everyone, and welcome back to Cute Life Hacks. As many of you know, I was in Los Angeles last week, and you can see the highlights of my trip on my Instagram story under my username Macaroon. While I was gone, Lisa made this incredible DIY rainbow Zen garden for our German channel, so of course I had to translate this for you guys right away. This project contains many components, including a holographic moon, clay stars, and a swimming pool made from slime. If you're new here, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more adorable craft ideas like this. First of all, let's create some cute stars that will live inside our rainbow garden. To do this, we're going to make a DIY clay using cornstarch. You might remember this nail polish clay from my last video, and I've linked it down here if you haven't seen it yet. The easiest way is just to eyeball the ingredients, since you'll waste a lot of nail polish if you try to measure it using spoons or cups. Instead of nail polish, you can also use craft glue, silicone, or even slime until you get a clay-like texture. This clay works best for very simple shapes like hearts or stars, and is a good way to use up any random old nail polish you have at home. However, since this method doesn't actually produce a huge amount of clay, we decided to make the remaining stars using a store-bought air-dry clay. Once you've made your stars, leave them to dry completely overnight. If the surface still looks rough, then you can easily smooth it down using a nail file or some sandpaper. Now it's time to decorate using acrylic paint. We decided to go with a pastel yellow color and then use the toothpick to add the eyes and mouth. When adding details, I always recommend using a toothpick instead of a paintbrush because it doesn't bend as easily and you'll find that it's much easier to control. Once the black paint was completely dry, we also added two tiny white dots to make the eyes look more three-dimensional. And now your tiny stars are done, and of course, you can also glaze these if you want. Next, let's move on to making this holographic moon. First, you'll need some cardboard, and we simply decided to take apart this shopping bag. Now draw a moon shape and then cut it out. Remember to leave a few tabs along the sides, like the moon on the right. We didn't do this the first time round and realized that having tabs makes it a lot easier to stick. Then cut out a strip of card and start taping everything into place. Before you close the sides, make sure you add a weight inside such as a piece of clay, a small stone or some coins. This will prevent the moon from tipping over. Don't worry if it looks slightly messy at this point because all of this will get covered up. You can either paint over it or simply use tape like we're doing here. The great thing about this holographic pattern is that it hides the edges very well so you don't have to stress about working perfectly. Just cover everything up with tape and then trim away any excess. Another idea is to use washi tape and crisscross it randomly so that it creates a pattern which also helps to camouflage the edges.
covering the moon with tape was surprisingly fun and relaxing to do. As you can see here, the result looks great and this barely took 5 minutes to make. If you want to adapt this further, then you can even make tiny windows and doors and turn it into a house for your stars to live inside. Next, we're going to make some fluffy clouds with heart-shaped rain. To do this, you'll need some white felt. Start by drawing some cloud shapes and then fold the fabric in half and cut it out so you have two of each piece. Now there are different methods to make the clouds fluffy. The first one is to apply craft glue all around the edge and then add some stuffing inside. Then place the second piece on top and then you have to hold it in place or weigh it down with a book until the glue is completely dry. The second method, which is a bit faster, is just to sew all the edges shut. You don't have to use a special stitching technique for this, since clouds are naturally irregular, so it doesn't matter if the edges don't look perfect. I recommend sewing the upper wavy edge first, then stuffing it, and then sewing the base part shut. And of course, don't forget to leave a gap for the stick, and you can also use a tiny bit of glue so it doesn't slip out. These clouds already look adorable, but we're going to take it one step further. Find some pastel colored paper or scrap pages from a magazine and use scissors to cut out lots of tiny hearts. You can do this freehand or by folding the paper in half first, depending on whether you want irregular or perfectly symmetrical hearts. I think both types look equally charming. And now we're going to make these hearts rain down from the clouds. Take some needle and thread and sew it through one of the hearts. Tie a knot to prevent it from slipping. Attach this to the cloud and then add another heart in the same way to the other side. To make the clouds even cuter, we painted on some faces using light blue paint. The coolest part of this DIY is that you can actually move the hearts and pull them downwards just like real raindrops. To make the base of the Zen garden, we're simply going to use a box lid. The size depends on how much stuff you want to make for your garden and how much sand you have. We started with a shoe box lid, but we realized that this was a bit too big, so we switched to a smaller one. If needed, you can cover it first using acrylic paint. Next, take some small wires or unbent paper clips. Create a small spiral on one end and tape these inside the lid. We're using black tape on purpose here so you can see it on camera, but for best results, be sure to use clear tape. Now add a tiny blob of glue to each wire and attach your remaining hearts on top. Once dry, you can change the angle of the hearts so they actually look like small flowers. Of course, if you've got more time, then you can actually make real flowers instead. I have several different tutorials on how to make clay flowers, all of which I've linked below. Next, attach your clouds to the inside of the lid and be sure to trim the sticks slightly so they stand at different heights. We found that duct tape worked best for this since the sticks are slightly heavier than the wire flower stems. Alternatively, you can also press the base of the sticks into some clay and then glue this onto the lid instead. Run away with me, 
To create the slime pool, we're simply going to use the lid of a cup. This works perfectly with these Starbucks Frappuccino cups, and you simply have to tape this tiny hole shut. If you can't find these, then just take a good look at the grocery store or in your kitchen and see what else might work. For instance, you can also use an upside down jam jar lid or cut the base off a mineral water bottle. Next up, it's time to fill the Zen garden. We found this cool colorful sand from a home decor shop, but if you can't find any, then a great tip is to go to a pet shop. You can get chinchilla sand incredibly cheaply and it's usually pale in color so you can easily add your own shades with food coloring. Chinchilla or hamster sand is clean and safe for crafting so it's the perfect thing to use in zen gardens. Whatever you do, please don't take any sand from a sand pit or beach because that's really not hygienic. First, we're going to fill up the base using a plain sand so we don't waste too much of the colored one. Now carefully sprinkle the sand in rows, keeping an eye on the width, so you can fit at least every color of the rainbow inside. You can also use a spoon or a cup to help you get the sand into small areas. If you accidentally get any sand inside your swimming pool, then you can easily remove that using a piece of slime. Then simply add several different slimes together to create a beautiful gradient effect. I used the same crystal slime from this video, however you can easily make your own and I've linked all of my clear slime recipes down below. And now our beautiful rainbow zen garden is done. Since the slime will start to dry fairly quickly, be sure to play with this soon after you make it. We also tried to include some ASMR, but unfortunately sand doesn't make a lot of noise, so that's why the volume is quite high in the final part of this video. If you don't like it, then please feel free to turn it down or play some music instead.
I really hope you enjoyed this video and please remember to subscribe to both of my channels, Cute Life Hacks and Macaroon. Some people might actually be wondering why I've got two channels, and this is because when I first started YouTube four years ago, Macaroon was linked with my online shop and Cute Life Hacks was more of a personal channel. Obviously, by now in 2018, there's no difference between the two and I simply take turns uploading videos to each one. You can also find me on Instagram under my username Macaroon and that's where I post more personal everyday stuff on my stories. This is Johanna, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Feel around